So the next question we have, um, this is actually a very popular one, is can iBeacon be used for payments? There's a clear answer, isn't there? No, it cannot. Why not? <laughs> <laughs> well, right now, iBeacon itself, it just broadcasts a signal. So if we go back to our earlier definition of what a beacon does, it's just one way, one way communication just pushes information out like a, like a lighthouse, like a lighthouse, exactly. <laughs> and that's basically it. So payments right now are not the beacon's primary function. Its primary function is to provide a differentiated service based on a user's proximity. And this is where proximity marketing, marketing then ties in to beacons and how you deploy it for its purpose. So knowing where the user is and based on that, you present them with something of value, for example, a coupon or some kind of transaction or some kind of uh, item that they can use to transact, which will then increase the likelihood of them to take place. Um, so BLE, actually, Bluetooth Low Energy, can in fact in the future replace NFC. Nick, would you like to expand on that? Well, yeah, I, I think um, uh, again, where, people are, where people are going with this and what, what, people, what people see is, um, one of the challenges with with NFC is uh, the device has to be in very close proximity. Um, the device has to have a NFC chip installed, and there's there's um, a relatively um, high cost of the hardware on both sides, both of the the device providers providing that NFC capability, but more importantly, the retailers uh, providing. Um, uh, NFC capable terminals that are able to, to, to read that at the time of at the time of transactions. Um, we've seen now things like Visa PayWave stuff coming up and um, Google Wallet trying to piggyback off the um, off the off the back of those. And, and in many cases now we have half a dozen different items um, stacked on the front of the counter um, for each of these various options for, for people to pay. The really nice thing about Bluetooth Low Energy is that. The format allows for um, very, very secure exchange of, of small amounts of data, security tokens, payment tokens, um, a, a small encrypted token that represents the user, that represents the transaction, and so on. It's it's absolutely perfect for online or for um, for, for commerce, for communication, wireless communication between a device and between a between a terminal. But the best thing is is that. Because it uses the Bluetooth standard, um, the the hardware, most of them which run on a um, either a, uh, a Windows environment as a as a background or a Linux environment uh, as a background, they they all have USB ports. Yeah, they have the ability to to literally just go and purchase a ten dollar dongle, even if the system is very very old, um, it can be converted to accept uh, Bluetooth Low Energy as a um, as a as a format, um, because everything's all in the software. It's all in software. It's all in um, it's all in logic. So the format itself is flexible. It's a really good fit for for merchants. They don't need to upgrade their scanners. They don't need to spend hundreds of dollars on um, uh, on on terminals. Um, we're seeing fast interest and adoption um, from the uh, from the um, credit card industries and so on. Um, so so I think uh, as, as far as everybody's concerned, it's a safe bet. Um, that, that this is going to become uh, a technology of choice in the future. Now, where that ties back into to beacons is um, we're going to see more and more devices. We're going to see more and more uptake of people using these 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 devices, and we'll slowly see, um, or fairly rapidly, if, if the pace of change uh, of late is anything to go by, but we'll, we'll rapidly see an uptake of people using these these devices as. Uh, payment gateways that Bluetooth will be enabled by default um, uh, either by people's habits at first um, or by necessity um, as, as these devices um, evolve and the low energy standard um, which is different to traditional Bluetooth they, they, they work very very differently um, uh, means that uh, we've now entered a, um, um, an era where you can be always on where you can be um, always connectable uh, and then to have the beacon network on top of that um, the ability for that radio to, to listen to understand that it's just entered into a um, a, a beacon zone yep um, will become incredibly powerful um, but if we're not investing now in, in, in getting the, uh, get it, getting a beacon network then um, you can be sure as hell that, that, that your competitors somewhere um, somewhere are and consumers are going to eventually start making a choice um, around 
you know where they where they shop and, and the experiences that, that they can get um, from a combination of um, their smartphone um, and and your your current product offering.